Welcome to another edition of the Google Cloud Innovators Tech Talk series. My name is Neerab Mehta. I lead product management for compute within the Google Cloud infrastructure team. And today I'm truly excited to be joined by an innovator that is also a customer of Google Cloud. Uh, welcome David Ting, SVP of engineering for Nihilus. Uh, really excited to have you here to share thoughts on your journey on Google Cloud. So to start with, uh, David, would you tell us a little bit about what is Nihilus? Sure, uh, Dara, thank you so much for this opportunity. I am the SVP of Engineering and CISO at Nihilus and responsible for Nihilus's product and technical execution. Nihilus's mission is to make the world more productive. We built out a highly scalable and secure platform to handle communication data that powers business process automation. Extracting communication data for intelligent digital engagement is a key priority for our customers, which range from fast growing startups to large enterprises across multiple industries. We power numerous brand name uh, productivity applications, and uh, I'm glad that we can actually talk through this journey and share some of the best practices together. That's impressive, David. Uh, a platform that enables many other productivity applications. Uh, no doubt this is why you have stringent asks of the cloud infrastructure you use. Could you share some of those needs of your application from the infrastructure and also what led you to Google Cloud as well as a bit of about your journey? Absolutely. We came to Google with what we viewed as a very challenging mission. We have a large enterprise customer in the financial services space with strict security requirements. PII data cannot be stored persistently, and the lifetime each server needs to be short-lived in order to avoid in-memory hacks. This is a great reason for us to rethink the entire Nihilus architecture. So the legacy Nihilus architecture is built with Python Flask and MySQL on top of AWS. It was difficult and very costly to scale, and the end-to-end -end performance is unreliable based on traffic peaks and spikes. Nihilus processes over 30 terabytes of data per day and uh, billions of messages, 100 to millions of API requests. Adding this requirement to have short-lived instances on top of everything we do means that it's a great opportunity to revisit the tech choices that we made in the past and which really led to a decision to rewrite our entire infrastructure in Go and Kubernetes on top of Google. And we felt like uh, who is a better partner than to, for the people who invented Go and Kubernetes to work with than Google to, to work through this journey. So in this journey, um, it was validated. Uh, Google for me, in my mind, is uh, has the best distributed technology, has been a true partner in the going through the difficult uh, challenges together. The security, scalability, and stability of the platform is second to none. GKE currently is the best option to run Kubernetes workload securely at scale and has the best messaging bus in PubSub, one of the most scalable and performant data stores in Spanner. We started a project in March 2021. Imagine we went from you know, Python to Go and AWS to GCP, and we went live three months later in June. Everything has scaled to plan. And during Black Friday, where peak traffic is over 20 times higher than peak for a normal day, GKE has scaled effectively from a handful of nodes to thousands of nodes within seconds. Nihilus was able to handle extremely strict uptime and SLA, uh, latency SLA for our enterprise customer during the most challenging time, thus giving us the confidence to build even bigger applications top of GKE and GCP. Wow, David, uh, really a lot of progress quickly. Thank you for the kind words. It's really gratifying when it all falls into place. Now, I know a big part of your evaluation and decision to move to Google Cloud was based on the new Google Tau VMs. Could you please share how you tested, what were your evaluation considerations, and what were the results? Absolutely. Now, this has a deep root of serving B2B companies and started serving B2C companies last year. And this was one of the most difficult challenges I had. Imagine your CFO comes to you and say, yeah, you just have to basically lose a zero in your cloud spend on the same workload. And uh, that's what it was required for us to service uh, to see companies effectively with the unique economics and challenge they have. 
And not only that was a challenge, there's also extreme uh, pressure for us to deliver a better user experience. Latency becomes a huge um, important factor. So like every application that's consumer facing has to be extremely responsive. GCP introduced Nylas to the Tau VM in June as a possibility of reducing costs at a great performance. So of course, it checked both of the boxes for us. So what we did is, is that we extensively test uh, Tau VM with the Nylas workload and compared the results against other AWS instances, including Graviton, and found that Tau VM delivered over 40% performance improvement and cost improvement. I immediately made this priority for the team and got our infrastructure migrated onto Tau VM well before the holiday peak. Unlike ARM processors, since Tau VM is based on the x86 architecture, no code change was necessary to take advantage of the performance lift. Yeah, this was a big part of our thinking, David, is uh, there shouldn't have to be a choice between better price performance and application porting. Uh, so maintaining currency of the stack with x86 while taking advantage of price performance uh, benefits. That is the promise of Tau VMs, which are based on AMD. Now, specifically when it uh, comes to the 40% price performance improvement, what were the application aspects where you saw the performance gains most significantly? The Nylas workload consists of many small jobs that need to be executed concurrently. So during our load test, we were able to see 40% improvement in job execution speed. So going back to it, not only improves costs, going back to the user experience aspect, this is big. Uh, the, basically, the application became 40% more responsive because our APIs and data processing speed is actually 40% faster, which translates to a better end user experience. Since the instances are similarly priced and Nylas is fairly good at fully utilizing each server to fully load it through parallelization, this translates to about a 40% cost reduction as well. Really good. Uh, I know uh, it's really impressive how quickly your team made the migration happen once you concluded that the Tau VMs were the right choice for your application. Uh, as you mentioned, within three months, you made it happen. Could you talk to how your team went about it? Maybe there's a lesson in there for others listening to this. And also what role did GKE, uh, Kubernetes engine, play in it? Absolutely. We knew how many servers we needed to hand, uh, handle the load at peak, uh, even for Black Friday. So we work hand in hand with the GCP team to on a ramp plan. So there's enough capacity across multiple regions and AZs to handle the Nihilus traffic. Uh, we validated this, and once it's validated, the rollout process was actually extremely quick. Uh, Nihilus practices infrastructure's code, so we went from staging to production in the same week and knew that we can roll back to the old instance types instantly. Because of that, we can actually execute with speed and use the data in production to know which is a better state for us to host our traffic. I want to thank the GKE and Compute team for pushing, uh, providing such a rich set of tools to make the migration and rollback processes easy to implement on top of your platform so that we had this ideal rollout timeline of one week uh, of changing basically running on other processors type to Tau VM um, pretty much within a few days. Excellent. Yes, this is a common theme across our customers that move really fast. Infrastructure as code combined with the right APIs from the cloud vendor. Thank you, David, for being so generous with your time and your anecdotes. I know these are just a few highlights and, and you probably got a, a lot more stories from the trenches. I can't wait to feature you again uh, in the future when you have taken Nihilus to new heights. And maybe we'll cover more of your journey then. Uh, in the meantime, all the best to you and your team. Thank you, and uh, thank you for our listeners. Thank you so much, Rora, for this opportunity, and thank you again for being a great partner. Uh, we weren't able to accomplish uh, this aggressive goal in three months without all of the backing and the full support of your team and everybody at Google. So again, uh, really proud of what we accomplished last year and looking forward to even more, uh, more heights, uh, more greater project and achievements this year. My pleasure. Thank you.